What's up guys, Steve with Steve Invest. Another call from another Facebook marketing SEO expert in the field that's gonna try to sell me on his services to help my real estate career. Coming up. All right, sorry about that again. So what? what's your pitch? What do you, what's your pitch? What do you got? Yeah, man. I mean, don't really have too, too much of a pitch, but we do everything online. It's like your Google, Facebook, SEO website, all that kind of stuff. But we don't really have anything like a cookie cutter solution or a one size fits all package, if you will. Everything that we do, it's all custom. And I know I'm just calling you here out of the blue, but if you're open to it, we could set up just a quick 10, 15 minute call for so early next week and kind of go into things from there. Give it to me now, man. I got I got five to seven minutes before my next call. Okay, awesome, man. Well, yeah, as I said, everything that we do, it's all custom. Um, and so I guess in terms of marketing leads and getting clients, what are you doing for that right now? What do you got is the main question. Give it to me. Yeah, man, I mean, as I, everything that we do, it's all, it's all custom. But like, just so that you're not kind of um, what's your area? What's your area of expertise? Yeah, man. So what we've been seeing, what we've, what we've been seeing a lot of lately is Facebook in particular, and bringing in essentially people that are looking at either buying or selling, it's like name, email, phone. But then from there, having a team on our back end that essentially follows up with all those people, figures out what they're trying to do over phone, text, and email. Looking at the type of home they're looking for, essentially qualifying them. So, like, budget, time frame, motivation, if they're with the realtor, what financing looks like, or cap, and stuff. And then from there, booking an appointment into your calendar so that you're able to continue the conversation from there. So, you're doing Facebook paid ads and then some retargeting? Yeah. Okay. What else? Yeah, man, that's really the what's what's your average real estate client paying in terms of a monthly budget and what what kind of response are they getting it really depends um could we from 500 bucks all the way up to five thousand even but average you're looking at right around average right now if i had to do the math quickly 1300 1400 all right, the guy is paying $1,500 a month. How many deals is he closing, assuming he's a strong uh, a strong closer? Anywhere from one to three. Okay. Are these numbers that you know, or are you just kind of throwing them out there? It's just kind of a range. Why don't you get the detailed numbers and call me back? Call some of your clients, see how they're doing. I mean, that's what I'm looking for. I'm not looking to throw money out there and see what sticks, what doesn't stick. I want to know some stats and how good you are. For sure, man. That fair? What's a good email for you? That fair enough? Yeah, for sure. What's a good email for you? All right. Yeah. You, you found me through LinkedIn. You can probably get it right there. Obviously, if you're in the real estate business, you probably get calls like that all the time. I know I do. These guys are a dime a dozen. Some are really, really good. They know what they're doing. Other ones have taken, uh, you know, an, a Facebook online course and present themselves as experts in the field. And they'll charge you, like he was saying, five hundred, a thousand, five thousand dollars a month. You, as a real estate agent, you got to be extremely careful as to where every dollar is going, because if not, you could just throw a bunch of money away on some amateur that doesn't know what he's doing. Who knows? I mean, the guy didn't really know his stats. He didn't really know his numbers. Um, if, if I have, say, five real estate agents and I'm running ads for them, I want to know what kind of results that they're getting for a handful of reasons to procure a new business, to explain to a new person like myself, a complete stranger, how well this person's doing over in Oklahoma or Canada or wherever. And another thing is, if I'm doing a good job and I can show that client, hey, you closed a b and c last month because of our efforts what is that realtor going to do that realtor is going to continue to invest 
in that person for their expertise on Facebook ads, SEO, whatever the case is. So um, be very, very cautious when you are spending money on any of these guys that call you up off of LinkedIn or your website or whatever. Um, Cause you're gonna, you know, as soon as you, as soon as you enter the real estate industry, you're gonna get more and more of those calls. So be very cautious, be very careful as to where, where every dollar goes. Call, um, another suggestion is get a list of his current clientele, specifically real estate agents. If they have not done Facebook advertising for real estate, don't even move forward with them. It's not gonna be worth your time. You want somebody that has a proven track record of developing leads for real estate clientele, real estate uh, agents and realtors, and actually ask for a list of say their two or three top performers, two or three of their top clients that are getting leads and closing leads from their services and get permission to call those agents as well to get honest and accurate feedback. If they're reluctant to give you that kind of information, then, then don't even move forward with it. Move on to somebody else. Um, because if they're providing fantastic services, all they need to do is call that client, that real estate agent and say, Hey, look, I'm trying to help another real estate client out. He asked if he could potentially call you to get your honest feedback about my services. And, uh, it should be as simple as that. So if they're, if they're reluctant to give that information, then, um, odds are they don't have the kind of track record that they're allegedly saying. So my question for you guys is, um, how many calls a day are you guys getting on something like this? Also, if you've hired somebody to do this kind of work, what's your experience in the kind of return on investment? Are you getting a return on investment? Are they, are they actually producing the leads that they sold on you? And maybe how much are you paying monthly for these services? I'd like to hear about it. Comment below. As always, if you like this information, you like this video, there's many others. Uh, we have many more coming at you, so go ahead and subscribe. Hit the little bell, because every time we throw a video at you, at least twice a week, you're gonna get notification. You can jump on it and get some valuable information. Thank you very much for being a subscriber. If you are right now, we greatly appreciate it.